Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon everybody. Greetings. Uh, welcome to Know Your Candidate. This is the ANC show where we introduce candidates um, of the ANC in the Western Cape across the province. Today, I'm particularly um, grateful to have two candidates. I have uh, Reverend Franklin Williams, um, who's our candidate out in uh, Mitchell's Plain, Ward 81, and then Comrade Cornelia Blouse. Um, so, Comrade, just greet everybody. Let me start with you, Comrade Franklin. Um, just say hello to everybody and tell them uh, the areas that you cover and the issues that you represent in your area. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Reverend Franklin Williams. I stay in Mitchell's Plain and I'm I'm the candidate for Ward 81. I cover uh, Iceleven right over to Rocklands into Takes Harville, down the Dane uh, into um, Duckbreak, uh, opposite the uh, gym. So that's the area that I cover. I cover quite a vast big area uh, of, of Mitchell's Plain. And uh, the issues that I'm about to tackle is based on um, our community that is struggling to get title deeds uh, or their property on their name. Uh, because of my expertise, I worked in a legal firm and I was in conveyancing. I also deal with matters such as estates. Unfortunately, many of our families have passed away and uh, COVID has, you know, been uh, very rapidly amongst our community and some of them have passed on and I help people with their estates. I also deal with issues such as having to formulate uh, organizations such as uh, community-based uh, organizations, uh, a rates payers association. Um, I want to work with um, our, our, our people on, on, on grassroots level. It is important for us to obviously have uh, those kind of engagements and deal with backyard dwellers especially in the Okay, thank you for the introduction. Comrade Cornelia? Thank you, Comrade. Uh, my name is Cornelia Blau. I'm from Oatswurm in the Western Cape. Um, very small place, I must add. I am the candidate for Ward 7. Now, our VD is split in two. There's uh, a part in the white area, Laurus, which has uh, about 1,811 votes. And then we have the Nicolania, where there's 2,164 uh, voters. So uh, I am originally, I've been a trade unionist. I worked for the Southern African Clothing and Textile Workers Union in Cape Town for about 15 years. Um, first in Cape Town, and then I was transferred here to Otsurang. I'm at the moment still working for a trade union, although not Satu. Uh, at the moment, apart from fighting for workers, which is my passion, honestly, uh, the, the nicest thing for me is when I know that I've won a case and a worker can go back to work um, retrospective from date of dismissal. That is one of the nicest feelings for any organizer. Now, my um, idea, my view, is to take that energy that I put into the trade union, into those workers, and put that into my community. My community has been neglected for a very long time. And uh, my idea is to do regular house visits, make myself visible, make the ANC visible, make uh, the ANC, put the ANC back uh, so that people can trust the ANC once again. That is what I want to work towards, uh, Comrade. Thank you. Thank you, Comrade Cornelia. Thanks for the introduction. Comrades, um, uh, obviously there's a lot of issues at hand and worker leader and also helping with the legal stuff. Um, what is the key messages that you, let's start with you, Cornelia, you want to communicate to your, your people in Oatswood. What is the message that you want to give and what will you do for your community should they vote for you in Oatswood? What I do when I go out and I speak to people, I do house visits, I tell them, I understand that we used to have a lot of problems, but the agency is not the only organization with problems. Many other organizations have problems, and we shouldn't focus only on the problems, because the agency is in a renewal state. We are busy renewing the... 
uh, uh, government, the, the, the president has come with a new plan and that is what we're trying to implement. And if people do not vote for the ANC, that plans will not come to fruition. People can say, I'm voting PA, I'm voting this, I'm voting that. I've told them, these organizations can't do anything for you. Look at your all pay, look at your child grants, look at all those things. Those are things that come from the ANC government. The other people can't do anything for, for you. I'm not trying to um, uh, badmouth any other parties. All I'm trying to do is show them what my party can do for them. And apart from the, 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 the union stuff that I do, I'm the one people come to to write uh, mess, uh, letters for bursaries, um, you know, all those kind of things. I do that. I'm the go-to person in my area. So I think okay. I am what about you? Place. Okay, uh, me, let's, move to, no, let, let's move to Comrade uh, um, Franklin. Reverend Franklin, you also part of the new ANC, the ANC under the present Settles leadership. Why have you, why have you said to, to your community there, that we must give the ANC. The ANC is the only vehicle for all of us, for the ANC family. What is your your calling for our communities? Well, um, let, let, let me put it this way. Um, under the new leadership of our comrade, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, um, I, have, I have really, really, uh, you know, struggled to find any, any, good thing that the ruling party, the DA, has done for our community at the present moment. And with that, I have really experienced many issues with our community, such as service delivery, such as uh, 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 our community not having uh, to have jobs. And every time when it comes to this part of, 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 of of the year when it's election time, our, our ruling party takes X amount of people in giving them a uh, small little jobs to do, but they don't realize that it's only an up to the time of the elections. Thereafter, they no longer have that kind of income. My point that I want to bring across to our community is to be and to give sustainable jobs, sustainable uh, 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 income to our people, and also to make sure that our people are engaged properly. Our people are, uh, are, are being looked after, especially when it comes into the ward that I am working in. I have a great problem, a great grief problem with our, our gender-based violence and our yes. drug abuse in our community. And because I'm a pastor, I counsel these people, I sit with these people, and I know the issues of my community. So I'm saying to my community, I, as a pastor, would like to sit down with you as a community and say to you, give me a hundred days when I am a counselor to see how I will make a change. Give me your vote okay. for five years and I will make a change. Okay, so look, I think what we're putting together is the Reverend um, and Comrade Cornelia, you represent different communities. One is in Oatswan, predominantly Africana. One is there on the Cape Flats in Mitchell's Plain, Rocklands and, and East Beach area, but yet our issues are the same. You talk about... Uh, 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 gangsterism, uh, drug abuse, gender-based yeah. violence, and, and, and all of those things. Um, Cornelia, I'm going to ask you the question. I mean, as a community active, as a worker leader, um, the DA has been given so many. They've been ruling in power, uh, both in Otsuan, I know, uh, and here in the city, they've been serving for more than 10 years. Um, how is that that the people are still even though people are, are very angry with uh, rates, affordable rates, uh, all of those things, is people seeing the light? Are they, are they coming away from the DA and seeing that the DA is only using them for election, electioneering and just votes, but black and colored people are not good enough to be part of their leadership? Cornelia? The one thing I can say to you is <clears throat> people especially during the hard lockdown. The government has done a lot. And those are the things that we try to, you know, let people see. And people understand. And we had this thing where 
you know, people got hampers and this DA guy only gave to certain people and people are angry. They don't want to see mm. the DA anymore. And that mm. is good news for me. So for me, if there's any staunch DA members, they can go to the PA. I'm not fighting with them because there's other people that we can get. And there's a lot of people that we can get. And I believe that we need to go out there and tell people this is what your government is doing for you. And that is what we do. And people understand. And I don't mind spending 10 minutes with one person to explain to that person what this government is doing for us. Yes. Comrade Franklin? Yes, sir. Uh, based on the question that you've just asked uh, my comrade there, let me just say that um, we as a community need to understand, first of all, the three spheres of government. Three spheres of government, which is national, provincial, and local. And I want to say that we are dealing with local issues at the moment. Our government, our ruling party that is in government, the ANC, has brought upon in the time of need when we were really down and out and on lockdown level five, our president made sure that he looked after the poorest of the poor. And I want to say to our community, if that is not an eye opener, we must understand that the DA, when they appoint counselors, they appoint counselors on, an, on a CV application. The ANC appoint counselors on grassroots level with communities. And that is the key here. We know the issues of our people and we are not based on a CV, but we are based on the grassroots level issues that the ANC is working for. Let me just put that also into perspective. I think the ANC has its own internal democracy, but our councillors are coming from our, our, our community. So just like yourself, yes, Reverend, you uh, are a, a pastor, you provide uh, advisory, religious, legal support in our community in East Reach and I mean West Reach and, and Rocklands. Uh, Comrade Cornelia is a worker leader, community activist. So our leaders are grounded in the area. You talk about what the ANC is doing. The DA doesn't care for the poor people. They haven't voted for the budgets. The ANC is the one that provides for uh, social relief with distress. Even though it's little, 350 has been done, driven by the ANC. And we're also pushing quite hard that we get a universal income grant for everybody. It's the ANC that provides if your, if your mother's not working, um, uh, there's no free schools. It's the ANC that provides a nutritious meal at each of these schools. It's the ANC policies uh, that says that if you matric and you are exempted, you going to, you can get a, a, a bursary from the NSFAS. These are some of our commitments. Now, I heard this morning Julius talking about uh, children, people must just make uh, babies because the government will care and all of those things. That's irresponsible. As the president, we spoke about our pledge to the people, our commitment to our people, the manifesto. Maybe just start with yourself, um, uh, Cornel Comrade uh, Cornelia. What is it from the pledge that the president has says? the commitment that we've made in our manifesto to do more and to do better. What will you do for our community there in Oakford? What is your commitment that you're giving to our community in Oakford? Uh, I, I just want, the, the Reverend said something, I just wanted to respond to something there. Please, I go do for it. It. Yes, okay. please. Um, we were talking about um, what the government is doing. So one of the things, uh, one of the people I went to, it's like this old woman uh, that was very DA. And I told her that, why does she, I ask her, you know, I usually ask her, if, you know, why do you think that the DA is better? And she said, no, um, I let for my uh, dearness to her. So I said, no. I explained to her where that indigenous policy came from. And you know what she said to me? Now mm. that is the kind of kind of time that I want to spend with people to make them understand. Kubrita is to come back to the question. We, me included, we had a lot of problems with, with, with counselors previously because I believe that if you're a counselor, you're a servant of the people. Yes. Whatever you do, wherever you go, do not be elected and then disappear. 
You are a servant of the people. When people need you, be there. If people ask you to do something, do that. If you cannot succeed in doing that, go back to the people, report back and tell them, I couldn't do this, that and the other. Can we sit together and talk and see how we can address this problem alternatively? This is how I feel. And I just feel that the money shouldn't even be an issue. I always said to people in the past many years ago, I don't care how much you get paid. As long as you do your work, that is the thing that's important to me. I want to be the kind of counselor that people in any area can come to because I'm the kind of counselor that do my work. That is, you know, you know, I have, I have such a deep commitment to this course. And I think I'm perfectly placed because I work with workers every day. I see exactly what's going on in their homes. And those are the kind of things that I want to address from a council perspective instead of from the uh, the, the workers' p- p- perspective. I think I'm okay, perfectly great. placed. Great stuff. Um, Reverend, the one thing that I want to pick up, there is your... the, the deep- in your area also is working for the uh, the drug counseling and he's getting a lot of money from the city of of Cape Town I think they were talking about 80,000 rand and that is being used now almost to further his campaign what what's your thoughts on that uh, Reverend? Yeah let, let, let me say first of all that we we must remember that um, if we talk about our struggles first of all uh, uh, comrade in our community, it, I cannot help but to think that we are being oppressed by the white supremacy of our country. Sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. No, sorry, continue, please. Continue, yeah. sorry, continue. So, yeah, I, I can't help but to think that we are being oppressed by the white supremacy of our country. And our, our, our own brothers and our sisters Uh, are being manipulated by this in our community. If we talk about a ward councillor that uh, uh, is with the Democratic Alliance, such as Ashley Potts, uh, he's running for Ward 81 with me, and he's got a drug rehabilitation centre. My biggest concern is, is that he's more focused in another community than being focused in the ward that he is being elected for. That is my biggest concern. Secondly, um, it is important to know that when you are being given money for a certain uh, 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 program, use that money for that program and not for your own needs. And that is my biggest problem that I have. You know, you spoke about the manifesto of our president and something that really brought uh, uh, something out to me was... uh, is to say that we as a community must be able to engage or we as ward councillors must be able to engage with our community on grassroots level so that they know what is happening. Decisions that are being made must be brought to the community. Things that you receive must be brought to the community. And unfortunately, in this scenario, uh, we am running against a, a, a candidate that is established in a drug rehabilitation center. But I want to say, it's not the only problem we have in our community. That's not the only problem. We have gangsterism. We have high electricity bills, water bills. The problem that I have with the DA at the present moment is that they have taken the property valuation of a house and looked at it and they have now been given the the, 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 the the right of way in the local government where they made a, 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 a vote or they voted for this thing where they said, if your house is more than 400,000 rand, you're going to pay extra for electricity. What nonsense is this? We are poorest of the poor can't even pay to put food on the table. So in so, terms so of- So let me just come in there. Let me come in there if, if you get elected as a representative of the people, because the DA is clearly not listening to our people. Uh, they're putting up property rates. They're having a water pipe levy of 162 rand, and they also have a monthly charge on electricity. Yes, Will sir. you, as a councillor, at least provide affordable 
rates and services to our people and also ensure that the poor gets indigent gets free basic services and also look at a scrapping of arrears will that be something that we'll think about from the franking well, uh, let me say this, that the DA is very clever. They will obviously use the very last part of you, what you are saying, Comrade, is they will try and say to the community, we will scrap your arrears. And at the end of the day, when the voting is done and, 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 and everything is back to normal, they put that arrears back. Somehow they will put it back. Uh, and especially in what they are doing at the present moment. I want to say to you, sir, it is important for me to have community engagements and feedback to the community development and problem-solving solutions. It's important to have the voice of the community and hear what they are struggling with. Yes, I will fight for our community for a... In fact, let me say this. As a person that studied law, I studied law for, for, for three years. I didn't complete my law degree. As a person that studied law and my understanding of the Constitution, our basic... Uh, 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 things that we need to get, such as water and electricity. That right has been taken away from us by the DA. Okay, by the DA. Cornelius, let, let, me, let me bring you into the discussion here. Um, the dearness and the, the rates in service time also. What are you gonna do for our people? Because also, at the moment, the DA has this thing. Oh, I just wanna say about the DA. The reason they put black councillors and colored councillors in there are simply to get our vote. Not because they believe that that councillor is a good councillor, he knows what he's doing. This is all about getting the vote. They're deceiving our people. It's as simple mm. as that. And as your water rekening achter is, dan hou hulle van jou geld achter. As jy gaan kracht koop. So as jy 10 randse kracht koop, dan kry jy 5 randse kracht, as ek een een unit. Because die kracht is nou so, so dier. Sorry, as ek Afrikaans praat, praat ek Afrikaans en Engels die mekaar. Praat, 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 jy moet praat. In elk geval, dit, dit maak my so kwaad, want ons het mense wat 10 randse kracht gaan koop. Vir hoe lang brand hy lig? Ek meen, as hartelos, as hartelos, jy kom ons so met mense weer. Mm. Dan, Het hulle op bestaan gekom by men gekom en gesê, as jy nie dat ons jou die ampeeg wat uh, 30 is, <coughs> is toch, as jy nie toelaat dat ons dit 20 maak, dan vat ons jou deernis weg. Hulle het een recht om die goed doen, dit is die type goed wat die DA op onze mense afdoen. Hulle het, toe hulle in die raad kom, het hulle die 70 eenhede wat die aansie vir mense daar gestel het, kracht, 70 in jyde kracht, het hulle 50 gemaakt, so om even mense te consult en te vraag mense, hoe voel jylle? En ek wil met die reverend saamstem, alles wat ons doen, moet ons doen met die community aan die hand. Want aan die einde van die dag, as die ding sukses gaan wees, dan is die community deel van het. So die jylle issue oor die kracht is een probleem, en dit moet dringend aangesprek word. Dan het ons onze mense nog die omlok so my gaan plak langs in hulle golfbaan. Laat ek sê hulle golfbaan, want die goed in oud sorry, ons weet ons nou hoe gaan het. Nou, bekleil om onze mense daar uit te kry, gee vir onze mense ordentelike behuising. Moen jylle daar aan die kant, wat aan die kant so ver van hulle werksplekke, hulle gee so veel geld uit, om met die werksplek te kom met baat en jy, jy gaan werk, jy, want dat, jy, hulle moet nog leef, hulle moet nog leef daarvan. In elk geval, dan is, by die ander uh, sheks is daar nie in skrachie, en dis een van die grootste probleme wat ons het, in die winter kry ons klombrande, mense sy plikke brand af, van die kerse, van die olielamp en van die goed, dis al die goed wat daar oog gepraat word, al die ander week het hulle die mense sy mobile toilet het hulle sommer gechange, en hulle het besluit ons geëet nou een ander service provider, want dis iemand van die DA wat hulle ken, so nog om te gaan na die mense toe en sê, kyk vir die en die en die rede het ons besluit, ons gaan nou die, 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 die service provider van die toilet is verander. Toe het dinge het so lelik gegaan, dat die een toile daar gestaan het vol, en die mense moes in die goed sit. Dis die type goed wat ons aan een einde moet bring in uitsoering. Want die DA, denk ek, het lang genoeg regeer. Wat ons, as ons ingaan vir raadslede, ons moet probeer om 
Dat verseker dat die gemeenschap ons vertrouw, dat daar trust is van die gemeenschap. Ons moet verseker dat ons accountable is tot die gemeenschap. Ek sê altyd vir mense, as ek in my werk doen nie, ek bly net in die straat achter jou, kom na my huis toe en kom skel my uit, is fijn. Because ek moet my werk doen, as ek in my werk doen nie, deal met my. Maar ons moet so hard werk, dat ons die eindsie terugbring na die organisation wat het was. Dis my droom. Hy sê, hy sê, ek kan tot die agree met dit. Kobrik Tonelia en Kobrik Frank, ek dink ons, ek ons kan sê die passion wat deel kom. Ons het nou die issues van ons community, die high water rates, baat en ek is die basics. Jylle as potential counselors, al toe van jylle, jylle moet nog mense convince oor die nieuwe trust van die ANC. Laat ek by, let me start with you, Reverend, what are we going to say to people in, in West Street? What are we going to say to people in Rocklands that haven't got that experience of being part of the ANC family? But no non-racialism, but no the family, because also is part of the Gorot family. Or Baklay, or Lach, or Heil, or Dansham. Um, what are you telling them? Why are you part of this journey? And why you want to take your community with, to be part of the renewal, the unity. What is that message that you want to give to, to our, our communities? Let me start with you, Comrade Cornelia. With me? Yeah. Uh, okay, Comrade. Um, I get, and I begin to ek besluit that I can do the nomination. I sit on Facebook and I write for people. I get besluit om the nomination to aanvaar omdat ons the democracy het as gevolg van die organisation. Ek kom al van 1980 geval met die struggle toe ek in die kaap as en so aan. Ek sê vir hulle, die is die organisation wat onze vrijheid verseker het. Ek sê vir hulle, die is die organisation wat ek lees al die goed wat die organisation vir ons gedoen. En dit wat ek daar gesê, is die boodskap wat ek uitneem na die mense. En wanneer ek met mense gesê, sê ek vir ek man, ek verstaan, ek ontvaar, jy is nie die partij, maar sê vir my, wat die die partij vir jou gedoen. Sommige mense, baie my mense neem aan, want mense van hulle ken my. So ek vraag, sê vir my, wat het jou organisation vir jou gedoen? Want die is wat my organisation vir ons kan doen, vir ons gedoen het, en nog steeds gaan doen. So ek probeer mense oortuig met goed wat al reeds daar staan. Ek wil nie een paai in de sky gaan, al die mense geloof nie in zulke goed dit. As ek met hom praat oor sy opa, hy weet het, want hy krijg dit. As ek met hom praat oor sy deernis, hy krijg dit. So hy kan met my saam sê, maar hulle kan nie vir my sê, ek lieg hier. Ek ben ons jy die een daar paar mense wat sê, dat sê die government wat die oor begin het, dat sê, toe sê ek man, moet nie veel stupid hou nie. Ek sê, ja, dis mense sy tekst, ek sê, die beestie. My ding afgesel, al die afgeval, ek sê hulle, al die goed, en ek probeer om tangible goed, vir die mense daar te sit, laat dit die klink soos onmoendlike goed die. Ek sê die goed wat die government gedoen het, waar ons vandaan kom, en waar in ons op pad is. I see. Reverend? Well, let's start off with a very, very, very good advice, and wonderful words of our president, building a better community together. My engagement with the community if I should ask them to vote for me, I would really clearly state that I will bring back better service delivery in Ward 81, including West East Rocklands, and also be visible and available for our community. I will encourage communities and participation in local government decisions. I will establish ward committees which represent sectors and societies of the ward. I Franklin Williams do declare, I don't make a promise, I make an oath in saying I have the community engagements and feedbacks on community development and problem solving at heart. I Franklin Williams is saying, borrow me your vote for five years and I will show you within 100 days what this party can do for you. Let me end off by saying to you, sir, Isaiah 9 verse 6, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall rest upon its shoulders. Amandla to all of you. I mean, Amandla, thanks for those uh, powerful Amanda. words, uh, Reverend. Um, I think we're also going to wrap up now from my side, certainly. 
I would want to wish both of you separately and together your campaign a very, very good success. Uh, uh, Claudia, um, I was not here in Otsuni, but uh, I want to wish you all strength, all push for it. Also, stand with you, also stand family, or stand same with you there. And we want to wish you all the strength and good luck. Or for all the men's from the from Otsuni, from Bongolia to from from New Brighton, uh, um, for you, uh, <laughs> and um, everything of the best. Um, we can see the passion coming through. Also from your side, Reverend, um, there's 13 days left. Luckily, in two weeks' time on today, on the Monday, the 1st of November, we're going to vote. And we're calling all on everybody uh, who is seeing this uh, program. This will be uh, on the live uh, platforms. It will be on YouTube, on Facebook. Uh, and please like and share it. Uh, we'll send you out the link. So we want to encourage everybody. Uh, to support our two candidates again, Reverend uh, uh, Franklin, thank you for coming on at short notice. Comrade Cornelia, now thank you for being there and stay as passionate as you are. Give give the DA a hell in that area mm-hmm. for also men sir, serve you. our people. And, and 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 when you come in, please continue to continue serving our people because change transformation also in the past. And we want to thank you. Um, and for three speaking truth to power, yes, ons as the INC had by mistakes to make up a national level, but you see people are confusing it. Ons governi yini. So the problems from the Western Cape, the problems from Cape Town, and the problems from Otsun, I see the marking from the INC. Yeah. It's made by the DA, it's made by white privilege, it's made by mm. Basque, it's made by an uncaring uh, government, and also need for under a stake for change. And Darum Frau so Amel, whether you they play in Cape Town or whether they in Oakland play, vote the DA8, vote for Cyril, vote for change, vote for the ANC. Met Dai say was Amanda and Amanda. Long live the ANC. Long live the ANC. Viva. Viva ANC. Viva. Viva. Thank you, Amel. Let's go.